Germany wants to arm Ukraine with Russian funds. Interest earned from Russian assets frozen by the EU should be spent on weapons for Ukraine, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said. The US and its allies seized around $300 billion in assets belonging to the Russian Central Bank in February 2022 when the Ukraine conflict escalated. The EU has stopped short of confiscating the money outright, proposing instead to direct the interest to Kiev. It is important that we also agree that this money can be used for arms purchases not only in the EU but for purchases worldwide, Scholz told reporters in Riga after a meeting with the governments of Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. He endorsed a proposal by EU Foreign Policy Commissioner Josep Borrell about how the money should be allocated. According to Borrell, around 90% of the interest should be spent on weapons for Ukraine through the European Peace Facility Programme, while the rest would be allocated to EU budgets to support Kiev's own military industry. Germany and the three Baltic states want to see weapons production in the EU ramped up, Scholz added. The bloc and the US alike have struggled to meet Ukraine's demands for arms and ammunition. The US and its allies have pledged over $200 billion in military and financial aid to Kiev over the past two years, insisting that the conflict must be a strategic defeat for Moscow, even as they denied being directly involved in the hostilities. Kiev has called on the West to confiscate all frozen Russian assets in order to help fund the conflict. The US and Canada have been supportive, but the EU has remained skeptical. About 70% of all frozen Russian funds are held by Euroclear, the Belgium-based EU Central Securities Depository. These assets generated an estimated 4.4 billion euros in interest income in 2023 alone. The after-tax revenue for the assets could reach as high as 20 billion euros by 2027, according to some estimates. Moscow has denounced the freezing of the assets as theft and threatened a reciprocal response against the assets of EU-based individuals and companies within its jurisdiction. The Israeli army has entered the city of Rafah in southern Gaza. In a statement, the Israel Defense Forces said it was conducting a precise counter-terrorism operation in the eastern Rafah area in a bid to eliminate Hamas terrorists. A video released by the Israel Defense Forces shows at least four Israeli tanks on the Gazan side of the Rafah crossing on the border with Egypt. Part of the clip was apparently filmed by a soldier sitting on top of one of the vehicles, the Egyptian state-owned television channel Al Qahira reported that the Israeli military had full control of the Palestinian side of the Rafah crossing. Sporadic fighting could be heard, and all humanitarian aid had stopped, according to the channel.so, the Israel Defense Forces also said its troops have managed to establish operational control of the Gazan side of the crossing. It added that ground troops and the Air Force had destroyed Hamas military structures in the area, claiming to have eliminated approximately 20 militants, according to an unnamed Palestinian security official and an Egyptian official cited by the Times of Israel, Israeli tanks reached as close as 200 meters from the Rafah crossing terminal which is directly on the Egyptian border. The Egyptian official told the paper that the operation appeared to be limited in scope. The Israel Defense Forces said it had encouraged local residents to evacuate to the expanded humanitarian area in Al Mawasi, located on the coast and further away from the Rafah crossing. Israel's allies, including the United States, have warned Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to not send the military on a ground assault in Rafah, where nearly a million Gazans are sheltering. Archie Philadelphia, the U.S. Take it, Israel.